Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is a very impromptu video. I was getting ready for work and then I realized I have not done an update on the wig I made using original queen hair. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. And uh, this is a wig right here. Now this is gonna be a very quick review because I love this hair. I love this hair. I wear this wig more than I wear the Nadula hair that I show, the, either I've shown you or I'm about to show you. I don't know how these videos are going to be going up, but um, I wear this more than I wear the other wig that I made. I'm actually going to sell that wig because I prefer this curly wig. And the reason I prefer it is, number one, there is no lace in this. This is a full wig that I made full wig, so it's a lot easier to put on. There's literally not a lot of styling involved like there is with the Nadula hair. These curls are a lot tighter than the curly hair from Nadula. This is kinky curly hair, and then the other wig that I made from um, Nadula was curly hair. Sorry, that was my phone. Either way, um, yeah, so I wear this wig like 98% of the time now because it's just so easy. Now, I've worn this wig for about three days now, so that's why it looks a little <laughs> worn and uh, lived in. So I'm going to show you how I style it. So I literally, when I, you know, get home from work, I put it on this mannequin head right here. And then, you know, the next day when I'm getting ready for work like I am now, I just take it off and I pop it on my head. So I'm going to go get my oils that I use for my hair because um, I've said this in lots of my hair videos. If you're planning on wearing wigs or extensions or sew-ins, whatever you decide to choose, um, definitely make sure you're taking care of your natural hair. So let me go get my stuff and uh, we'll get into it. All right, so for my natural hair underneath my wigs, I have started using clove oil. I would usually use peppermint, but I ran out and I just had this lying around. So I use clove oil and then of course my Jamaican black castor oil. I buy these um, in bulk. I actually have two full bottles that I haven't even opened yet. This stuff is amazing for every body. It doesn't matter what kind of hair texture you have. It doesn't matter what race you are. If you have hair, this is going to work for you. You just have to use it differently depending on the dryness of your hair. Now I have dry hair. Um, I do have, I have dry hair, so um, I don't have to rinse this out or anything. Now, if you have straighter hair that isn't dry, like say you have straighter virgin hair, um, I definitely suggest using this as a treatment more, more than a leave-in. So all you have to do is like put it on your hair, do not put it on your scalp, put it on your hair overnight, and then in the morning wash it out with a very, um, gentle shampoo and your hair will feel so soft it's amazing this is um i use this as a sealant for this all right so the reason i use clove oil is because number one it smells amazing and it's stimulating my scalp um to help my hair grow in faster and it also cuts back on itch because i don't wash my hair every day i don't think anyone should wash their hair every day because washing your hair is very stripping so, um, because my hair is growing, I do get an itchy scalp. I've always had an itchy scalp because I have, um, dry skin, but it just feels more so because my hair is so short and it's growing and I just notice it a lot more than I did when I had longer hair. So I just rub this in and it feels so good and tingly. And like I said, it smells amazing. And then I just go in with my black castor oil. I don't put a lot because, like I said, I don't have a lot of hair right now. I just put that amount right there. Rub it in and mainly just concentrate it on my edges in the front and the back. And then just put the excess on my actual hair. And that's literally all I do. So if I had chose not to wear a wig today, I would just, you know, go in with a brush and, you know make this look a little bit more presentable and then walk out the door but today I decided I want to wear a wig so once again this is the original queen hair I actually <laughs> I screwed up on this wig so um, I had to cut the top off so this is what it looks like on the inside now what I started doing um is gluing or I still sew my wigs but I glue the I put hot glue on top of the thread of my closures to make sure that um 
the closure string doesn't snap because when I put on my wigs, I'm usually grabbing them right here. <laughs> and sometimes in the past, from experience, I have ripped my closures from doing that. So what I do now is just put a little bit of hot glue on the strings inside my wig um, to make sure that the uh, the string doesn't snap over time. It just I just think it makes my wigs a little bit more durable and last a little longer. And of course, you can't see the hot glue because it's inside. Um, so for this one, I actually have to cut the top off because I put a... Uh, lace closure that I had lying around on top and it just looked terrible. I did a terrible job. Um, so I had to cut the wig, I had to cut the top of the wig off so I had a hole in there. And then what I did was just sew some more hair on a uh, pair of stockings. This is actually a pair of stockings. And I just sewed the hair around in a circle to close the wig up and then I went in with hot glue and put the hot glue on all the strings like I just told you. Now this wig um, does have a glued on um, DIY closure. So you just take a little track of hair, you hot glue one side and then you roll it in on itself and stick it in the middle of the, your wig. I don't know if you can really see that because this wig is so puffy. Now I don't suggest doing this for straighter hair because it's a little bit more noticeable. Um, but for this wig, you can't really see it. So uh, yeah. Oh, and... <laughs> more about this wig, uh, how I screwed it up. So I also had made it too small because I was rushing. I don't know. I've been doing a lot of my wig making at night because, you know, I have a full-time job and then I have a baby that I take care of um, in the mornings before she goes to daycare. So, uh, yeah, I don't really have a lot of time during my day, so I tend to do all my wig making at night. So um, I made this wig too small, so what I had to do was cut it in the back right here I had to cut it in the back, and then to make sure it didn't rip anymore, I just hot glued the seams right here, and then I put an elastic band, I sewed an elastic ba band on the inside to give it stretch without, you know, letting it stretch too much and causing it to rip some more. So that's how I got this wig to work, and I'm very happy I did because I love this hair. Okay, enough talk. Let's put it on. So this fits perfectly on my head. Thanks to that elastic band. Now I look crazy right now, I realize. All right, so what I do is I just take some water, nothing else in it, because this hair already has product in it. I've put texturizer in it to get the um, curls to be very fluffy. So what I do is just to redefine the curls a bit, I put in some water. Now, another great thing about this wig is, like I said, it doesn't have a lace closure, so I don't have to worry about, like, making sure it looks realistic around my hairline. And if my bangs are too low, all I have to do is shift my wig a little bit, like this. Like, if I want, them low, if I want it lower, I just pull it down, and if I, want, if I want the bangs to be a little higher, I just pull it up. So what I usually like is to have them right by my eyebrows. Just turn it a little bit, make sure the closure is in the center, which it is, it's right there. So I just go around the hair and just put this water in it to rehydrate it so it doesn't look um, dried out. And I don't put a lot of oil in it. Now, I haven't worked with curly hair a lot. So everything I'm telling you, I just learned myself. So I went and got this hair professionally cut at the Willow Salon and Day Spa. Whenever I need a wig cut, I go to Hannah um, over there because she's amazing. And she knows how to cut curly hair. So while she was cutting this hair for me, because I bring my wigs to her and I put them on and I let her cut them to frame my face and stuff, um, I had put argan oil in it before I got there, and she had asked, do you have any product in this hair? I said, yeah, I put argan oil. She's like, yeah, you don't want to put a lot of oil on curly hair if you want it to be fluffy. And that's what I was going for. I was going for very fluffy, curly hair. And she said the argan oil will weigh the hair down and not let it have fluff. So that's when she told me about dry shampoo or texturizer and just, you know, lifting the hair and spraying it in. So that's what I've been doing. I don't put do the texturizer every day. Um, I just did it for the first day. And if the hair starts um, falling again, like getting too heavy, then I'm going to put some more in. But she also told me about picks. Now I already have this. This is a um, 
comb that I bought from Sally's. It's got basically three different combs on it right here, super wide tooth, and then a pick. So she told me just pick the hair too if you want to refresh that fluff. And I did have her cut layers into this hair because before it was just all one length. Um, it was, you know, like I said, it was a full wig and it was all one length and just, you know, and then she, you know, cut it to my head and I really like it. So this is what I do to bring the fluff back. And I really like it to be fluffy around the bottoms here too, where the layers are a little longer. So I'm not sure if I mentioned this already, but this is a dry texturizer from Divines, Devines. If I can find it on Amazon, I'll leave the link down below, but I just bought this at the salon. So she said you just lift the hair and you put this in and then you just fluff it. Now, because this hair is so curly, do not expect to be able to like run your hands through it. Um, at least not when you have this dry texturizer and stuff in it because, you know, the idea is to make it look messy, but structured. Does that make sense? So the curls do not clump, as you can see, they're not clumping together, but do not, like I said, expect to be able to run your hands directly through this hair because it is curly hair. But these curls are so nice. And I'll leave the link to my original unboxing down below in the description box. So you can check that out because this store does not have an AliExpress. I mean, this vendor does not have an AliExpress store. They are just on Amazon. And if you've been watching my videos lately, I've been doing um, Amazon. I've been looking, you know, through Amazon vendors. Now, none of these vendors send me their hair. I buy all this hair myself because I enjoy it. This is my hobby. But I figure I should share what I find with you guys because I know there's a lot of people out there like me that have a love for hair and like to change their hair up. So this is definitely one of those vendors that I would suggest. I will leave a direct link to their store down below in the description box and a direct link to this hair too. Um, so you can check it out for yourself. So I'm just going to flip my head upside down so I can get that body on the bottom. So where's that? Oh, so this is the amount of shedding I've just got from doing all that fluffing. That's it. Tiny amount of shedding. And this is the wig. Now it's not perfect because I think you can see how there's a little bit more body on this side than this side, but you know, whatever. I mean, I could just keep going, but. All right, so I'm gonna turn around so you can see the back. All right, so that's pretty much it for this update video. And I hope you liked it. Two thumbs up to Original Queen Hair on Amazon. It is a go for me. I'm probably going to be ordering some more other Kinky Curly Hair and seeing if they have any other products available. And I changed my lighting. Tell me if this is working better. It looks better in the camera. Um, I don't look as white or you know washed out. I put um, some of the warm panels on my ring light, so I think it's helping. Um, but let me know in the comment section if you see a difference. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, then please give me a big thumbs up and press the subscribe button down in the description box so you don't miss any more content from me, and I hope to see you in the next video.